This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. The videos show how you can use low-cost local resources for the teaching of mathematics. Common materials that should be available in most places, things like cardboard, small boxes, waste paper, banana fibre, possibly, which is very useful for making string, sticks and stones, corks, bottle tops, whether they're plastic ones or metal ones, toothpaste tubes and the boxes that they come in, uh, milk bags, juice cartons, plastic bottles, tins and so on. I'm now going to show you how to make the overlapping place value cards that we showed earlier. Uh, you need to make these from A4 paper, can be new paper if new paper is not available, great way of recycling paper that's had uh, print on one side. Take the paper and you fold it in half like this and then you cut along the crease and put the two pieces together and fold again. Okay. Now this is the length that you need to make the thousands. So you will need to cut nine of these. Okay. To make the hundreds, again, take some paper, fold it in half, and cut. Fold again. Now, to make the hundreds, you'll see that you actually need three quarters of the length of the piece of paper. So the easiest way to do that is if you take one of the pieces and you fold it into quarters, you now have a quarter of the piece of paper. So you put it down and you take off one quarter from the end. You can now fold here and you cut that off. So you now have your hundreds and also you have your unit. So the only thing that's left to make now is the tens. So again, you go back to your paper you fold it and you'll see that the tens are actually just half of the thousands, the length. So if you fold it in half and you cut it, you now have your tens. So you will need nine of each. You need nine of the full length. You need nine pieces of half of the length. You need nine pieces of the quarter of the length and nine pieces of the three quarter lengths. Now, when it comes to writing the numbers on, it's very important that the numbers are correctly spaced out. Otherwise, when you overlap them, uh, it may be that you don't cover a number or that you end up overlapping um, a number that you want to show. So to make sure that your numbers are always correctly spaced out, if you go back to your guide piece here, and if you draw some lines here to help you, and then what you do is you put that down. Let's say we're gonna use one of our thousands. Then you place it like this. And let's say I'm gonna make 4,000. So I'm gonna put four here. Line up with the second space, zero. Line up the third space. Try and make the numbers as big as you can so that they're really visual. And then finally, zero in the units place. Okay. And then don't forget, mark the corner. So there you go. So we've now made 4,000. Then when you come to use the others, it's useful to change the colours, to keep the colours. So for instance, with the tens, you can use blue. So again, take your tens, line it up with two 
of your guides. I'm going to make 20, so 2, and 0. Don't forget to mark the corner. Okay, so I've got my 20 units. I'm using red. Three. Don't forget to mark the corner. And then the hundreds. Two in green. So again, line them up with your guide. And I'm going to make 600. If you don't have different coloured pens, it's not essential, but it is makes it easier for sorting them and for using them and for the children. So you can see what we've made then is line up at the end, 4,623. Now I'm going to show you how to make a place value fan. Um, it's made from cardboard. This is an old scrap piece of packaging. Um, and the first thing that you need to do is to draw some lines. You can either measure down, in this case, four centimetres, or just do the width of the ruler. So I'm going to draw some lines going down. You do need quite a lot to make the place value fan. We'll just draw a few demonstrate how to do it. Okay, with the place value fan you can see that the tens, uh, the units rather, the ones, you've actually got two widths of the ruler here, so you've got two squares, so that is actually going to be eight centimetres going across, so if we measure eight centimetres and then another eight centimetres so you will actually need nine of these I've drawn two the tens you've actually got three squares or three widths of the ruler um, so that's going to be 12 centimeters going across but obviously if the width of your ruler is a different width then the length will there accordingly and then it's a good idea if you've got eight centimeters there or nearly I can almost make another one there the hundreds is going to be one two three four widths of the ruler so that's 16 centimeters going across take them to there and then the thousands is going to be one, two, three, four, five widths of the ruler, which will be 20 centimetres, which is the full length. Then you cut these up. Write the numbers on carefully, spacing them and using the same colour code for thousands, hundreds and so on, as for all your resources. Then you connect them together. Make a hole using a nail and then use a small piece of plastic string to hold them together. You melt the string. Obviously you have to have plasticky based string to do this, so it will give you a nice solid stud, plastic stud. Okay, so the abacus, very simple to make. You've just got a piece of scrap card or you could do it on paper. You draw out your abacus lines with your labels. Bottle tops, if you're lucky enough to find some bottle tops that are completely blank then you write the numbers on them. Um, but it's not a problem if you don't, because what you can actually do is write the number on the other side. So if you haven't got white bottle tops, then just write on the underside of the bottle top and that's that's fine. Um, and the cards, um, you'll see that we followed the, the colours, um, just easier for sorting, for the teacher to organise and also for the children to associate the numbers with colours. Okay, this is another kind of abacus being made out of a waste plastic carton and some bamboo sticks. And the beads are made out of, this is just a, a screw top, bottle top. Use a hammer and a nail to make a small hole. 
This is actually um, the end of a toothpaste tube. We've got two there. Um, bits of cardboard with holes poked in them or metal bottle tops, again, with holes made with nails. There's lots of different uh, mid old materials that you can use, again, for making um, numbers and with an abacus. Okay, so now we're gonna make the place value blocks made from cardboard, just any scrap card. Uh, the most important thing with this is that you measure and draw accurately one centimetre uh, squares in a grid. So if you um, measure across the top and you mark, you see, at one centimetre intervals going down, and then you just draw the lines going across. Here I'm just using a biro. It's not working very well. There we go. Um, you can use marker pen, but the problem with marker pen is that often it's quite thick. So you go right the way down. Okay, and then again you mark at one centimetre intervals going down and you go right the way across. Okay, so you get the idea. So you will end up with a grid all over your um, board going across. And then once you've done that, you need to cut out 10 by 10 centimetre ones to make the hundreds. You cut strips of tens to make your tens rods. The ones are just individual squares. And then with the thousands, you can either just have um, 10 hundreds stuck together to make your thousand, or you can make um, a net for a cube out of six. And then you just simply fold it together and stick it down the sellotape so that you've got your, your 1000 cube. Okay. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low-cost or no-cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. OK, let's go and teach some maths. Long videos 1A and 1B have been repackaged showing individual resources being made and used. The smaller videos focused on one resource are numbered 1AB with the name of the resource following. For example, 1AB place value cards. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.